So you know when you have something really difficult to do and you come across somebody that like takes that out of your brain and then makes this perfect solution for it and gives it back to you? That's kind of how I feel about this tool I'm going to teach you in this video and that is for exporting metahumans into Maya out of Unreal Engine and then creating a rig for it and then animating it so that we can bring the animation back from Maya into Unreal Engine. And it's going to be super fast and easy. Let's get into it. I have already made this metahuman using the metahuman creator. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to drop a video in the description that is a tutorial for that. But if you've made your metahuman, all you need to do is go up to the plus button here and choose Quixel Bridge. And when Quixel Bridge opens, you're going to navigate to the metahuman section and under my metahumans, which you'll see if you've logged into Bridge, which sometimes I forget to do, your metahumans you've created, you click on the metahuman you want to download, hit download, it'll probably take a while to generate and download and then you can hit add and it will add it to your project that you have open. And you find those metahumans that you've added to your project under metahumans and there'll be a folder for the metahuman that you have made for yourself. Then you can click on it and drag that metahuman straight into your level. But we don't have any animation for this metahuman so we need to make that animation. So how do we get this metahuman into Maya? Step number one is we need to download the standalone version of bridge so not this quixel bridge you get to inside of unreal engine but the standalone software that looks the same but operates outside of unreal engine so i'm going to go ahead and close unreal engine and we're going to go to the quixel website which i will link in the description but once we land on the landing page here we're just going to come to products and bridge and we're going to go ahead and click download bridge. It's going to download a .exe file. Then you're going to click on that .exe file. Once you've downloaded it, it's going to install. Once you open it after installing, it's going to look like this, which looks very similar to the version that you have inside of Unreal Engine, except like I said, this is standalone and we need this version in order to connect it to Maya. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in here and log in. So I'm going to use my Epic Games login here. So what we want to do is come up here to the edit menu in the top left corner and come down to export settings. This is going to bring up a window on the right side here. We're going to choose Maya from this list under the export target. For you, it'll say download plugin. For me, it says update plugin because I've tried this before, but it's the same button here. So just click it and it will download the plugin and install it. Once it's done, it will say installed here. And now we're going to go ahead and open Maya. If you still need to download Maya, you don't have it installed yet. That's no problem. I've made a quick start guide for you, which is linked below, which will get you up and running super quick. Quick note on Maya versions at this moment in time, when I'm making this video does not work very well with Maya 20. 2023 or four. So if you have those versions of Maya installed, unfortunately, you're going to have to come back here and use this drop down on the product page to install 2022 instead. That's going to give you the version that's going to work with this plugin correctly. Once Maya opens, it's going to give me this dialogue, most likely if you haven't used Maya before, um, and I'm going to hit new. So once Maya is open and blank and ready to go, I'm going to hop back over to bridge and I want to navigate over to the MetaHumans tab which is the same as the one in Unreal Engine. And I'm going to be looking for my metahumans, which I've made, which are my metahumans UE5. And I should see the one I created, which is River here in that list. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one as well. It's important that you use the same metahuman that you downloaded into Unreal Engine because the body types are slightly different. Once I have that selected, you might have to hit back if you're still in the the export settings and it should display on the right side here and I will choose the resolution of my textures which I don't really care about because this is purely for animation purposes so I'm going to choose the lowest resolution and I'm going to go ahead and choose the settings here next to it and what I want to choose is the download settings and under the models tab up here I want to make sure that my meta human section here has chosen both UA asset and source asset because the source asset is the one that we're going to be exporting into Maya from here. And the U asset is just the Unreal Engine asset. Click that. Then we're going to go hit back here and we're going to need to hit download again. Be prepared. This part when you're waiting for it to generate and download can take a while. So just be patient, get a coffee and we'll be ready to go. 
I'm going to close both programs just to make sure this works correctly. And first I'm going to open Maya. And once that's open, I'm going to go ahead and open bridge here. And I'm going to navigate back to the metahumans tab under the metahumans Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to go ahead and hit export. Now it's going to tell me I exported to Maya successfully. So I want to minimize the Quixel bridge and I should get this dialogue that pops up over Maya, which is, are you sure you want to import metahuman character? All unsaved progress will be lost. That's correct. We want to hit yes. It will throw up this progress window here as it imports into Maya. So we're going to wait for that to finish. It might take a few minutes and then it's going to appear in our viewport like this. Don't be alarmed. It does not come with clothes, unfortunately. So we will have to do our animation without clothes. That's just how it is. But it did come in here with the face rig. Also, if we look in here, the joints are hidden, but there is actually a joint chain that came along with the character, which is amazing. But besides this face rig, there is no other rig that came along with the skeleton. So besides doing some face animation, which looks awesome. We can't animate this character in Maya without a rig, which brings me to that tool that I told you about, which is the best tool ever. So you're going to go to the link in the description by Mad Guru. It's only $25. Trust me, this is totally worth it. You should probably be charging more for this. And this tool is going to automatically rig our metahuman character. Mad Guru also has a YouTube channel, which you should definitely check out as well as a video walkthrough for this. But once we've grabbed this, we're going to download that package and extract it here. Once you've extracted it, you're going to see this folder and we're going to go to the meta body control folder and click on it. And then this install meta body control, we're literally going to drag into our viewport. Once we've done that, it's going to automatically add this little button to our shelf which is really cool. I'm going to minimize these. And now if I go ahead and click this button, you should wait a few seconds. You have a rigged character. What? That's all we have to do. This character is rigged and ready to go. You can literally just start animating right away. It's amazing. This rig works perfectly. Thank you so much, Mad Guru. Okay, so I have gone ahead and done a quick little animation here. That's a walk cycle on the rig. And I've also added in a little bit of facial animation a blink just so we can test the export on the face animation as well. If you would like a video tutorial about how to to make a walk cycle, definitely let me know below this video if that would be helpful to you. I personally use this book called The Animator's Survival Kit, which I'll link below, which gives you guides for making all kinds of animation, including walk cycles. It's probably the best book you could have as a character animator. So yeah, I'll link that below, but that's personally what I use to make this walk cycle. But we're gonna just go ahead and use this and export this. So if we come over here to the outliner, what we're gonna see is a few different joint chains and the one that we really want to export is this one that's hidden and it's the DHI body root. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and I'm gonna go up to the select drop down and choose select hierarchy, which is gonna select not just the top joint in the chain, but all of the joints underneath. So if we expand it here, it's selected all of those joints. And now we're gonna go ahead and export this animation. So I'm gonna come up to file and hit export selection. And I'm gonna hit the option box here. Now in this option box, we want to choose FBX. And if you don't see FBX here, what we need to do is activate XBX, activate FBX the plugin, which if you've installed Maya recently may not be activated yet. So we're gonna close this, come up to the Windows settings and preferences and come into plugin manager. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type in FBX to find it quickly. And this FBX Maya is what we want. And I'm gonna choose load and auto load. So it always loads when Maya opens and then hit close. So now if we come up here to file export selection and we choose the option box here, the file type will be FBX export, which you can choose from this list. Hit export that and we'll pop up 
a window asking us where to save the FBX file. Just for simplicity in this video, I'm going to save it into the same location as my scenes for this project, which is going to be in the default project in Maya. And on the right side here, we want to really just want to make sure that we check on animation and also bake animation. Now we're going to turn this off when we export the facial animation, but for the body, since it's a joint chain, we want to make sure it's turned on and that the frame range is correct and all three of these are also checked. So I'm going to give it a name, which will be river underscore walk and go ahead and hit export selection. This actually may take a minute, so I'm going to wait for it to export. Once that's done, a few errors will pop up. That should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and export the facial animation while we're at it. In the case of the body, we were exporting a joint chain. Now, in the case of the face, since we got the actual face uh, controls here, when we imported the MetaHumans rig, we can actually export animation on those controls, which we can then put back on the controls in Unreal Engine, which is actually more useful because then you can keep tweaking and animating it. And that's why we're also not going to bake it. So I'm going to go ahead here to the facial controls. I'm going over to this node here in the outliner called facial controls. I'm going to right click on it and select set members and you'll see all of the controls in the pad over here light up. Now I'm going to go up to file and export selection again. This time we are going to make sure we turn off bake animation because we want to be able to keep animating it potentially in Unreal Engine. Uncheck that and this one I'll just call river walk underscore face and hit export selection. Wait for that to export and close the errors and we are good to go. Now I'm going to jump back into Unreal Engine and import these animations. All right, so we are back here in Unreal Engine. First thing I'm gonna do is import that animation I exported. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder in my content browser called animation. Open that folder up, hit the import button here and navigate to my Maya project. Now, if you're not familiar with how Maya projects work, I'm going to show you where the Maya projects are located. If you haven't created a new project within Maya, it's just going to be in the default folder, which can be found under documents and then Maya and then projects and default, most likely if you haven't made one and scenes. And there's where all of our exports will be found. So first I'm going to import my river walk here, hit open and this is good, except that we have to choose a skeleton for the animation that we're importing to be referencing. And so it's saying, oh, this is an animation I'm importing. What skeleton that you already have in Unreal Engine should I make these animations connected to? And of course, we already have this rig from the MetaHuman inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm going to be choosing the MetaHuman base skeleton here that comes up when I type in MetaHuman. That's what's going to be the standard skeleton for all of these MetaHumans. Choose that and import all. Okay, close this pop-up, it's fine, don't worry. You can actually see it here if we double click on the animation. Super creepy, but you can see the animation made it into Unreal Engine, okay. So the facial animation, we don't actually import in this way. We're gonna do that in a second, but the next thing I need to do in order to use this animation on my character is to make a level sequence. So I'm gonna right click in the empty space and come up to cinematics here and choose level sequence. And I will call it LS for level sequence underscore river walk. And I'm going to double click on that to open it. Now I'm going to drag my MetaHuman into the sequence from my outliner. And when I drag it in, it's going to connect it with the MetaHuman control rig, which I don't need because I have already done that animation inside of Maya. So I'm going to go ahead and select that MetaHuman control rig here and hit delete. Now I can connect the animation to her. So I'm going to come to the body, choose the plus track button and choose animation up here. And when I come to animation, I should be able to scroll down here to river walk and you'll see that that animation is showing up because we connected it with that skeleton. So when I choose that and let's come over here to the side and I hit play. She is walking. Look at that. Perfect. Hit that like button if you are pumped that this worked so perfectly like I am. And if we want to change the speed of the animation, we can always right click on the animation, come up to properties and choose a play rate like two. 
and that will play the animation even faster if it's not looking like it is lining up correctly. And here's a quick tip. If you want something like a walk cycle here, which is just a small clip, you want it to loop and keep going instead of duplicating this and placing one after the other in a line, what I'm going to do is right click on the animation here, come up to curve channels and post infinity. I'm going to choose cycle. And this is going to basically take the curves of the animation that are happening in this little section and just continue them post infinity. So pre infinity will be doing it backwards. Post infinity will be doing it forwards. I find it super useful for stuff like a walk. So now I can come over here to the animation track and click and drag this over. So it's the whole of my time timeline and now if I hit play she's just going to walk continuously using the animation. So now let's import that facial animation. Now the facial animation we can actually come here to the control rig so I'm going to select it and right click and up here at the top it says import control rig fpx. We're going to choose that and then we're going to come back to where our Maya scene is located which is documents Maya projects default and then scenes and then river walk face open and we just have to come to this little drop down here and choose meta human control mappings that's very important hit import and now you'll see the keys have appeared on my timeline and if i go ahead and hit play she is blinking yay okay we have one small problem and that is, I'm not sure if you noticed, but when we applied the animation to our metahuman, it changed the scale of her body ever so slightly. And this will be drastic if you have one of the larger body types or the smaller body types, but it's probably less noticeable for this one. But I want to show you how to fix that. What we're going to do is come over here to the animation that we imported. We're going to open it. And here where it says in the top left corner, retarget source asset. That's where we want to choose the specific body type that we selected when we were creating the metahuman in the first place. If you don't remember what that was, you can come over here to the outliner and choose your metahuman next to it right here where it says uh, edit blueprint. I'm going to choose that, which will open the blueprint of the metahuman. I'm going to select the body on the left side here, which will show me under the skeletal mesh asset right here. It says F medium UNW body. So remember that name, I'm going to come over here to the river walk again and type in F underscore M should probably come up at that point. And down here we have F medium UNW body, choose that, hit update underneath it. After you do that, hit save. If you did see the size of your metahuman change, it will change back to normal. Next, we can render the sequence out of Unreal Engine, which you can find how to do right here. And I will see you in the next one.